Yo, it's Trent. Hope everyone's having a good day. Make sure you sub, share, like, comment. Check out my other stories, other videos. Um, hope you're having a good week too. And we got the crazy biking adventure story time. Um, so I have two stories, and this is back when me and my friends, right, we would just ride our bikes a bunch, and you know we were younger, so none of us had cars, and this is literally all we would do, right? Midwest in Illinois right not much to do except for biking around to stores or there was a bike path right and we would go explore it right because you could ride your bike and like there was an abandoned house we would go to right where we had to go off the path over a pond and like walk and trek through this super long grass that had a uh, not ticks but I can't remember what it was they had there was some kind of bug that we had to watch out for right so just crazy stuff like that. But on this day, and I have two stories, um, we wanted to see how far we could go on this bike path, right? Now, I just recently found out that this path is 65 miles long, right? Um, if you're ever looking for the name of it, it's like Prairie North Trail or Prairie Trail, right? It's in Illinois. Crazy long. Um, so we were starting from the town we're from. I'm not going to mention it, but we started from our town, right? And usually at the most, we would ride like maybe an hour, an hour, two and a half one way. But we would always make sure to come back pretty quick because we knew that if we rode far, we had to come back, right? And we never had a problem. And usually we would bike way more than that throughout the day, right? But we just wouldn't do it in a continuous straight line, like away from our houses. Like we would bike around town way more than probably how long we went on the paths, right? Until this day. So first story, right, because when you're looking at the path, you can go right and you can go left. We did this both ways, seeing how far we could go. So first of all, we're going to talk about going to the right. Now, when you go to the right, it starts off with you go through like traffic, right? And right after the traffic, because you have to or you have to go through um, um, a stoplight, right? So once you go through that stoplight, that's your last chance at civilization for a long time, right? Or actually, no. Because you go up this super long hill right away, right? And then you fly down it. And then at the bottom of that hill, there's a gas station. That's the last sign of humanity of people, right? For a long time. So then you go straight into the woods, right? And if it's dark out or if it's just not like super bright, most of the trees covers the sun. It's creepy, right? Like most of the time it's creepy in there. Now, we had like five of us, I think, or six of us, so... It wasn't as scary, and, like, we had our phones and stuff, but it was still, you know, it's still, like, kind of eerie. So we ride our bikes through there, and it lasts like that for, like, 30, 40 minutes, right? So once you get out of there, usually once we got out of the woods, we would only bike, like, 20 more minutes. But ahead of us, we had probably another four hours, right? So the first hour we bike, and eventually, it took a while, but eventually we get to a point where we don't recognize anything, right? Which is what we wanted to do. And it took a long time, right? Because where we were from, we had to go two towns over to not be able to recognize anything, right? So that's probably, I don't know how many miles, but it's a lot. It was probably close to between like 10 and 12 or 10 and 15, maybe 15 is probably a stretch, but it's probably close to 10, 10-ish, right? We went a long way on a bike right but that was just the first little stint so we sat for a while we found these picnic tables which we'd never seen before right so we're hanging out there i can't remember if we vaped or not at the time i'm pretty sure we did so i think we took a break to get a buzz hang out right and then we went on another journey right we kept going now we went for another maybe we were doing like hour increments while we stopped right and there wasn't a whole lot to look at but it was cool we were going through it's it's like a nature path right so you're in the middle of the woods then you're by some water then you go by a lot of these uh like these big metal um buildings and stuff i don't know what they're used for some of them make sand i saw that and they have like conveyor belts on them so i'm not sure what they're for but they're these huge buildings and usually no one's working on them like they're machines, you know. So we passed those. That was cool. Now, the next time we stopped was by this open, like, uh, how do you call it? Like embankment, like the trail kept going straight, but literally right off the trail. Like if you fell over, you'd go into water, right? Like all of a sudden there was water there and there was water back by the uh, picnic tables, but not as much as this, right? This was like an actual body of water. 
So we stay there for a while because we're like, hey, we've been biking for like, I don't know, two, three hours past the point or two hours at least past the point where we usually stop. Right. And we talked about turning around, but we were like, you know what? Let's just go another like 30 minutes to an hour. And at this point, we'd have been biking. Let's just say we started at 12 just because it's easy to do time wise. Right. We went from 12 and now it's probably like 3 p.m. and we're here at this place right and we decide instead of turning back for a three hour bike ride to keep going so you'd think we only went another hour right no we went two we just didn't keep track right now eventually it starts getting not dark but the sun starts getting like orange you know or the sky it starts getting darker the clouds come or i don't know what the clouds do but you get what i'm saying right like the sun's just starting to set it's like 5 p.m right and we realize we're in a town that like even driving wise like if we asked our parents would you drive us to this town they wouldn't want to right like it's too far like it's like we were like an hour and a half to two hours away driving so it was gonna take a real long time to bike back right like five hours maybe five and a half maybe six I don't know but I think it was around five crazy amount of time right and to make it worse after like 20 minutes of turning around it started um not down point but it started drizzling like just a little bit harder than drizzling but since we were covered by trees towards like the last hour we knew that only this like three hour stint or this four hour like we just have to get this first part out of the way and we were really young we were like little kids that's the only reason we did this like I would never do this now but we were determined you know and all of us would get in trouble if we weren't home by a certain time I'm sure so we were booking it you know I'm sure we got tired I remember my legs burning really bad right but it was like a little kid tour de France but we bike 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 get home right or I don't want to just end it that quick but we find it started raining a little badly, you know, but not too bad. I remember the bike sliding around. We were laughing, having fun, and we had music playing the whole time. I didn't talk about that, but someone had a backpack with a speaker. So think about that person. They had to ride the whole time with a backpack on, right? And we didn't eat anything, no water. We were just kids, like, just biking, right? Finally, we get towards, like, the last hour stretch. Everybody's dead, right? We take a break because it's like barely raining and the trees are covering us dude and it was like dark now it was like dark dark right and we had just gotten to the woods part like I said it's raining it was so scary dude we were laughing because like it was funny like hey we went on a crazy journey but we still knew like we're an hour away which it felt good being close like closer but I had this feeling in my like chest I, it could have been anxiety it could have been anything right but I was like man we're still not there yet. Like, we, we shouldn't be celebrating yet. Like, we should get going, you know? And it was dark in this woods, raining, creepy, right? Made it home all good. Now, the second story, when we went left, not as scary, right? But still interesting. So, when we went right, like I said, we went through forests. And um, eventually, we came up to water. And we went through, like, a little town, right? Like, we saw civilization at the end of it. But mostly, that was mostly nature, right? The left side, I knew it would be different, but I didn't know how different, right? So we turn left. And turning left means instead of going into the woods, you're staying in town, right? So we ride around town, or not ride around, but we ride through the bike path, which is through town. Like you weave through the town, you go by a school, you go through this downtown area. So we do all of that. We're by people. And this is a whole different day also, I'm sure you assume that but whole different day and we go left go through the town and stuff and eventually we get to this point where it turns into a like a trail you know like it's not a bike path it's like like a hiking trail you know like it's little rocks and I had a BMX bike right so it's not really fit for that a couple people had a like mountain bike so that's nice but not for me right so we're like whatever and my friends are like that too or a couple of them right we had all different kinds of bikes so we start doing this and it was a journey. It was really tiring, right? So I remember keeping track of it in my head, like this part's going to really suck, but it's, you know, in the same town we live in. So if I'm too tired when I get back here, at least I can try calling my mom or something, right? So I wasn't too worried about that, but I knew it would suck. So we go up these crazy windy hills, which kind of surprised me because when you go to the right, there's 
only that one hill at the beginning and then there's like no hills so we immediately go down these like crazy hills and go down speed we saw a deer absolute craziness right then we end up back on this back on the bike path like from the trail to the bike path and it looks like we're in the middle of nowhere right like illinois i knew like i obviously i know the geography i know there's fields like we're from from where I live, you can get to Wisconsin in 15 minutes, right? You can also take similar roads and get there in 45 minutes. It's just weird how the border, like, bends and stuff for the state, you know? Like, you can get there real easily or you can take your time to get there, right? So, we didn't realize that we were going straight for Wisconsin. So, we're going on this bike path and the only thing that's around us is to the left, fields, to the right, fields, and then at the end of those fields, there's a road, right? So, pretty much nothing to look at and it was I don't know what time of year it was but it was the time of year where I don't know if they were growing wheat or what it was but all the fields were like super yellow you know what I mean like like the tannish yellow color so if anybody's a farmer knows anything about that maybe you could tell me what time of year it was right but it's all yellow on the sides super boring to look at and we're just biking 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 for a while right now we go for like an hour hour and a half and the path just straight up ends, right? Like it just ends and then it leads to a new field. And the field had a very small path, but it didn't, it wasn't the bike path, right? It was like dirt. So we thought about it for a while and we're like, can we even go on there? Like it does not look like we're supposed to go on there, right? But there were no signs for trespassing. So we kept going, right? We biked for like 20 more minutes and we came up where if we kept going, we were gonna come up to this gate and there was a barn, right? So we realized like, this is not the path. Like the path did end, we just rode on someone's property. They didn't have a sign up, thankfully, like we didn't get shot, you know, but we were like, we gotta get away from here. So we turned around and went home, but it was really weird how, uh, like we lived only an hour or two away from one end of the path. Like, like I said, 65 miles long. So we live at the start. Like, we live within an hour or two of the start. But then when we were going the other way, we could have literally gone for 65 miles. Like, we could have gone for a day or two, you know? That's crazy. But, all right. Thank you guys for watching. Um, that's the crazy biking adventure story time. Check out my other stories. Uh, we got power slab videos, two of them. So, if you're watching this, those are already posted. Go watch those. Everybody loves watching someone get slapped. Also... There will be a whole compilation, like my most popular video, right? I'm going to make another compilation of the Power Slap videos when they do a new event, which will be, I think it's February 3rd, 6th, or the 9th, right? One of those three dates. Um, so check out my videos then, too. Thanks for watching. Be safe. Tell your friends. You know, put it on. And, yeah, thanks for watching. Be safe. Peace out.